Hey guys, Amy Star Allen here, and in this video today, I'm going to be talking about StreamYard. So you might know StreamYard as a tool that allows you to stream live videos across multiple platforms, which is what I love it for. You know, I don't go live all that much, but when I do, I like to be able to stream on YouTube and a couple of different places on Facebook at the same time, and StreamYard is my go-to for that. But in this video today, I want to show you how awesome it is to be able to just record a freestanding video using StreamYard because it allows you to share you know, your camera and your screen at the same time without as much editing that's as required using another type of tool. So for example, right now I am shooting this video in ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is my go-to video editor. It's what I use to shoot all of my videos because a lot of the time I do need to share my screen because I'm showing you know, a tutorial or something like that. Well, now you can do that in StreamYard just to record a freestanding video. And what's cool is it doesn't require as much editing because like in ScreenFlow, where I'm recording now, it's recording my camera, which has my face on it, on one track and it has the screen on another track. So to put them together, I have to you know, shrink one and trim it and move it around and do all this different stuff. Whereas when I shoot a video in StreamYard, I can just click a button and it'll move my face over to the side and it'll show my screen and then I can click a button and it'll move it back. And StreamYard, when you're shooting a freestanding video, also allows you to still use the other functionality that it provides just like it does on our live videos like you can put a banner across the screen or you can put an overlay over your video or whatever you want to do and it just makes it super easy to do that okay so let me show you real quick how this works okay so i am in my screen stream yard account here and just so you know i will leave a link to stream yard below this video they do have a referral program so um as you can see right here so if you do want to try StreamYard out, I would love for you to do it through my referral link. That would be awesome. In any case, I'm inside of my studio here, right? So it says streams and recording. So if I just click create, now you can see I can do a live stream, which this is, like I said before, what I typically use StreamYard for is to stream live on the internet. Like if I want to do a live video and I want to go and have it show up in multiple places at once, StreamYard is amazing for that. And what's cool about that feature, I'm not, not going to get into all of that right now, but what I love about that is I can be streaming live on YouTube and a couple different places on Facebook. And anybody that's watching my live in any of these places, all of the comments show up in one place on StreamYard. So I don't have to look at all of the different places. I just have to be in StreamYard and I can see everybody's comments. And it also lets you put the comments right up on the screen if you want to interact with people that way, which is amazing. So I'm not going to do that for today, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna click recording. So this is to record in the studio. So like I said, you can use StreamYard to record a regular video that you're gonna like upload later to YouTube or wherever, but it allows you to record it in StreamYard in a way where you can share your screen, you can add banners, you can do all kinds of cool things using their technology and you won't have as much editing later. So if you don't own a tool like ScreenFlow or Camtasia or one of these other more robust video editing tools, and you just want a simple way to be able to create videos that allow you to share your screen and have some of these other features, StreamYard might be a really good way for you to do it. All right, so if I click record, and I'm gonna title this, I'll do um, live demo, since I'm doing a live de demo. And then I'm just gonna click create report recording. Okay, I'm gonna enter my studio and you'll see I'm down here so I can add myself to the stage. So now there I am live on StreamYard. So up here, I would click record. Okay, so now my recording has started. And what I love about this, one of the things that I love about this is you can pause it. So like I can click pause and then I just click resume to start again. So if I need to go to the bathroom or I need to get something situated on my screen or whatever, it's really, really easy to do that. So I love that about it. But then the other thing that you can do is while you're recording, if I decide I wanna show my screen, I can easily do that. So down here where it says present, I would just go share screen, share screen, 
and then I can choose what window I want to share. And then you'll see it's sharing my screen. And there are different options inside of screen, um, in, inside of StreamYard. So like if I want it to look different, you know, if I want my screen, my camera to be bigger than my screen, I can choose this one. And this is this one. Or if I want to just put myself in the corner, I can do it like that. So this makes it super easy to record your screen in a way where you don't have to go back and edit the different tracks later. It just does it all for you, right? So I love this about it. And then the other thing that you can do, I'm going to stop the screen share here. The other thing that you can do is you can add a banner. So like if I'm talking about something in my video and I want to put like the link to it up on the screen, like let's say I'm talking about my affiliate marketers cheat sheet and I want to put it up on the screen, I can just click the banner over here and it'll put it up on the screen and it'll already be in my video that I'm recording and I don't have to add anything later. So I love that. And then it has all this branding stuff as well. So like you can, um, you know, if I wanted to add an overlay, like I created this overlay that I have uploaded into my StreamYard. So I can have this on my video if I want. I can, I can create as many overlays as I want and have like a, you know, this one says live. Now the video that I would be creating for, the, this is what I use when I go live. But if for the video that I'm creating right now, I could have a different one that has all my branding on it that doesn't say live if I want to have an overlay on my video. So that's pretty cool too. It even has background music that you can put. So I've never used this before, but let's just try it. Okay, so now I'm recording with this cool background music. <laughs> so you can do that as well. Anyway, again, you can pause it as many times as you need to while you're recording. And then when you're done, you just click end recording and and I'm done. It says video backgrounds are now supported in the studio. So you can add backgrounds too. So that's cool too. Okay. So now that I'm done recording, all I have to do is go back to my dashboard and you'll see right here where it says live demo. If I click view and here's my video that I just okay, recorded. So, my... so again, it, it's just like that. And I just recorded a screen share video that I can now, I can download it right here and I can share it. You know, I can upload it to YouTube or wherever I want to upload it to. The other cool thing is you can edit and repurpose. It allows you to make it into like a TikTok video or anything like that too. So if I click edit and repurpose, let's say I want to make it into a reel. I can click shorts and reels and I can choose whatever clip of the video that I want to make into a short and it'll make it into um, a short. And then if I want to, it'll allow me, if I click publish, repurpose your content and publish videos to Facebook page, Reels, LinkedIn profile, YouTube shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikTok. So I would just need to add the destinations that I want to publish it on and it'll publish it right to there. So that's a pretty cool feature of this as well. And then one other thing that I just want to point out so if we go back to the beginning where we're in upcoming and click create, the other thing that we could do is we can take the video that's pre-recorded and stream it as if it's live, right? So if I click on live stream, see it says live stream, use the studio or pre-recorded video. I can go here and I can click on pre-recorded video and I can select the video right here. And here's the video that I just created. So I can choose that video. And then I can just, you can see I have all these destinations set up. So I can stream this now as a live stream. It's already recorded. I already have it set up the way that I want it. And then if I want, if I want to, I can, you know, I, I would select my destinations, the destinations that I always stream on are these, and I can put in all my description and everything like that. And then I can stream it as a live stream, even though it's already recorded, which is super cool, right? So you get the best of both worlds. You can use StreamYard to record your video and then you can also take the video and, um, and stream it live. And just so you know, you can stream any video. If you've already created a video in another video editor that you want to stream out live onto multiple platforms, you can do that in StreamYard as well. But if you record it in StreamYard, it's already there. You don't have to download it to your computer and re-upload it. It's already there. You can just select it and then stream it out as a live stream. So I think this is super helpful as well. Okay, so I have just a few other things that I failed to mention that I want to point out because these are all really cool 
features as well. So one thing is I showed you how you could repurpose your video to TikTok and Instagram Reels and so forth. But if you just want to edit your video, like let's say you messed up in the video and you just have some stuff you want to trim out, you can do that inside of StreamYard as well. So you can go back and edit your video later as well. It doesn't have to, you don't have to publish it the way that it was created if you made some mistakes or just have some things you want to edit out. So you would just come into the video and click edit and repurpose. This is where we went before to where I showed you how to repurpose onto the short form video platforms. But if you just click here, it'll bring you into this editor where you can easily split and delete different parts of your video or whatever you want to do to it. So that's one super cool thing that I left out. You can also come back into the studio and add on to your video if you want to do that, which is also really super cool. And then the other thing that I wanted to point out is, so down here, see where it says invite? So if you want to shoot a video with somebody else on camera as well, you can click invite and it'll give you a link that you can send to whoever you want to be in your recording. And you can do this on the live stream version of StreamYard as well, but if you're just recording a video for your YouTube channel, but like let, let's say you wanna interview somebody or something like that, you can send them this link and then they'll show up here too. And you can, you can have them, you know, there's different views. You can see like you can have them side by side. There's different, like just different layouts that you can have if you have people on here and you can have multiple people on here. So that's another really cool feature of this is that you can invite others. And then also under the branding tab here, you can um, have display names up like for yourself if you're just recording by yourself or if you're interviewing somebody and you want to have your name and their name or whatever. So if you click display name, it shows, you know, it has my, it knows my name because it's my account, but you can select how you want that to look. There's different ways that it can look. So if you want to you know, and I already have my brand colors programmed in here as well. So you can set all that up. But this is just another thing that you can do if you want your name on screen when you're recording inside of StreamYard. So that's how it's done. That's how you can easily record your videos in StreamYard. If you want to create, you know, screen share videos without all of the editing that's required in some of the more robust editing tools. And StreamYard is also super affordable, which is nice as well. And then it's the best, best of both worlds because you can shoot your freestanding videos as well as use StreamYard to live stream when you do want to go live as well. So I hope that this has been helpful. Definitely let me know if you have any questions. And if you want to learn more about me and how I create residual income online and how I help others do the same, there'll be a link below this video that will take you to where you can learn all about my recommended online affiliate program and some of my marketing strategies as well. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.